Okay, so progress video number three. I'm pretty sure we're starting it off with the restless ghost quest. Uh, I'm now focusing on completing animal magnetism eventually, and um, yeah, I did get some money by doing silks and nature rules in Ardune, and now I have my crossbow and 1.4k bolts as well. So this kind of like I, I got back in the game. There we go, yet another quest on Deadman mode is now completed and I think I have one more before I can do animal magnetism. I will have to do some skilling, I'm pretty sure still. Landing, crafting, 35 woodcutting. Okay, let's work for Priestin Peril right here, I think. And another quest is done. Some prayer experience, one quest points, wolf paint dagger and whatnot. So, right now, um, we can do animal magnetism. All I need is... 19 crafting and 35 wood cutting. I will go for that right now. 35 is really soon. 19, what should I do? I will kill some cow hides. Go to Alcarid. I'll do sheep shearer. Eh, okay. There we go, really easy quest completed. So uh, I'll head and do some cows for now. Okay, so as I was doing a quest a little bit earlier, I killed a guy that already had a bank key, so I got two bank keys basically, and now I wanna check out what I got, I don't expect anything. Oh my god. That is gonna help me so much. Like that is actually- Oh, I am so happy right now. And the second guy had just basic stuff, I still take everything. Oh my god, I'm so happy. 58k dude. I'm to I'm gonna buy a Turkishian crossbow, some runes, some food, some ranging gear. Oh my god, this is gonna be awesome. So, oh, I'm, I'm actually gonna buy a reserve range gear in case if somebody kills me. So right now, I just need food. Oh, I'm so happy right now. Okay, I'm taking this and then I'm going to Varak, I think. First I'm gonna get another crossbow though, and a little bit more bolts. Oh, yes. Finally done with this quest. Oh my god, I hate it. Without teleports and without everything. So a guy was chasing this guy and... Uh, well, I saved him, I killed him, and I will just give him the stuff that this guy was wearing, so I hope he makes a good use of it. Well, there, how to make a guy happy with just like 100 gold? <laughs> Made my day, actually. Just got 52 green dragons for my slayer thing. Do them. Will take me probably long. Yo, what the fuck happened to me, dude? Isn't this progress episode three already? Oh well. Um, yeah, I was doing green dragons because of slayer task, and guess what? I got PK'd, and I basically lost everything I could. So right now, I'm just getting 60 gold of these little goblins, and we're back to picking silk. Well, luckily this time I did put my Dargashin crossbow into one of the selves, but I still lost around like over 100k basically of the bank. I did have full blue uh, ranging gear and whatnot, so yeah, right now we'll just try to get some bolts and I'm actually done grinding. I think I'll just be PKing people uh, from now on because... I don't know man, I, I tend to keep dying and losing stuff, so why not to at least have some fun, so yeah, um, I think I'll be picking once I rebuild, I mean once I pick enough silk, which is fun, yay, but um, so yeah, just off to picking some silk I guess. Here we go, first blue scroll completed, blind dagger, staff of air, now the teleport, first easy treasure trail, treasure tra whoa, I said it really weirdly. Treasure trail. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, treasure. <laughs> Whatever. So I started rebuilding by killing some ankles, and I have the full scepter right now, so I'll just use a strange school on this. And now I basically have five teleports to Barbarian for free. 
and um, well I'm just rocking the shittiest armor possible but once I get to bank I will probably be able to just get a better gear and uh, this will I will just put this in my bank because it is untradeable and this is, it is basically free teleports to Varak and stuff so uh, yeah I don't know I just decided to do it and it was really fast so right now I'll just kill some more ankles get some more range experience and I don't know just get some more money overall so yeah that was a quick quick update for me since I'm dying most of the time in this game anyways so I might just get my range and health and whatnot a bit up I also trained some defense just long ranging and uh, yeah that's about it those are my stats at the, at the moment I should get that hunter up at one point and well thieving is just getting up whenever I die I start to pick some silk until I get the cash back basically and uh, yeah right now I still have 500 bolts left and I will be able to buy some more with the rooms and stuff I have so yeah, I'm gonna talk to you later when I accomplish something more bye I mean why did I say bye it's not even over yet god damn so here I achieved 33 defense 60 range and 52 combat all on the same shot basically and let me just lower the sounds a little bit so I will be training long range until I reach 40 defense basically and yeah I don't know how long I can stand down here I have 422 uh, bolts left so uh, we'll see how that goes god damn it should be 420 but yeah whatever um, and I'm just training here yeah just trying to get some money I'll sell this eventually might be some profit but uh, yeah if somebody decides to kill me they can easily do so and that's what I'm a bit I'm a bit scared for but I don't know I think it, it should be okay there we go 40 defense and I can now wear rune and now I can just wrap it I will just train range from now on so price checking this everything actually gives a lot if you look at it just just let's do that so if I actually manage to sell those stuff I probably made around 50k profit down here I know Renars are 1k so I should put them out so yeah I did get quite a lot each I will be able to buy some gear back and that's pretty nice so yeah, I'll stay in here for like 200 more bolts I guess oh well I'm doing other stuff while I do that anyways so I can pretty much AFK uh, I just play with sounds so in case somebody attacks me I can react but that's about it there we go 62 range uh, has been achieved and uh, yeah I'm still here uh, killing the Ankos I did get some magic levels as well I bought like 1k casts I still have them here and um, yeah it's, it's going pretty well right now for us so I'm gonna talk to you on another level there we go 66 range achieved and I'm just training on Ankos still yeah uh, as you can see they do drop quite some nice stuff and you can get some money from them so I'll be here for I guess quite some time still uh, I'm planning at least until 70 range so I can buy my uh, black hides and whatnot so um yeah I'm gonna talk to you on another level another range level right here we only need three more for level 70 okay so I sold some items and for about 50k I bought myself black dehyde vamps black dehyde chaps and the body so uh, they will be in my safe deposit box for some time until I reach 70 range of course and right now I want to sell eddy arrows, essences, death runes and whatnot to to some people to get some extra cash and then buy more bolts because I ran out of them so this is a plan for now and uh, after that we will probably go back to grinding back to getting that uh, range levels and a little bit later on we'll go and uh, kill some green dragons because that is our task but right now I still want to get a little bit more money before I do so and a better food of course so yeah, I'm gonna talk to you uh, once I achieve something new so uh, I'll talk to you later so much fun I went to buy some bolts with a 70k cash and yep there was a team of five people and well yeah they killed me so pretty sad I wanna check my bank right now I just lost entire progress again and the point is they were level 80s four guys level 80 and yeah how to escape from down there you can't so right now what I have left is Ferguson, Sibo like some gear and whatnot and then again in the bank completely nothing so 
That actually sucks so much. I will go back to Ardy, back to thieving. God damn it. Can't even train anything to be fair, like I every time I get to have like 100k I do get PK'd and I lose all, lose all my progress, so this this sucks a lot, so Oh well. <laughs> I don't know man. I'll see what I can do. So the next big cottage should get me level there we go, 59 thieving has been achieved. And I can apparently steal chests under the hills to reach tower near Ardeen, so I don't know if that's any good. Uh, I just found a neat game, and uh, well, I'll, I think I'll stick with Knights of Ardeen just to thieve some coins, get back in the game basically, then buy some bolts and then go back to training. So basically, that's my mode, it's all about that grind, and right now I'm just thieving to get my money back, so uh, I'm gonna talk to you probably on another thieving level or whenever I decide to do something else. Okay, so I think this will give me another thieving level if I don't fail 10 times in a row, however. So, um, we did get quite some cash from the previous level, so this will give us level 60 already, and uh, I'm not quite sure what I can do when I, once I'm level 60, but I think at one point I will complete the feud quest. I should do a, a, that actually a little bit, uh, like, after I get enough bolts, to be fair and then do some blackjacking so 60 thieving doesn't give you anything apparently so um i don't know it this seems this is like very afk so i can just stand here and thieve this guy and not care about other things and whatnot so i'll do that for quite some time i think and then we'll i know uh, i don't know i will get some ranging gear and start training so so our cash stack is now 10k which can get us a lot of bolts and also 61 thieving has been achieved and now can uh, I mean I can now go to the fifth room of of basically pyramid uh, in uh, pyramid plunder uh, so I will continue to thieve uh, maybe get to 20k and then go and do some other stuff okay so I just killed the schooled guy here but nothing happened and the key wasn't mine I just wrecked him for a 12 and I guess somebody else got a bank key and the loot will appear in 3000 hours so I don't want to wait for that and uh, we are geared up without amulet without uh, many stuff but uh, we can go kill some ankos get our 40 defense back 70 range and uh, then we can equip our black black armor and that should be pretty awesome and we also will get some money back doing ankos and whatnot so um, yeah I'm gonna talk to you on another achievement well what do we have here we just got ourselves first hard clue scroll and I don't think I can complete it though. Uh, if, uh, well, let me see. Well, never mind. I, I guess I can't check it there. Uh, I will complete it whenever I possibly can. But right now, I'm alone down here and I'm just training, and it's pretty nice. So I'm two levels off um, 70 range, and uh, yeah, that's pretty nice. And other than that. I don't know man, <laughs> I still have 1.5k bolts left, when we bank we will buy ourselves amulet, take away our uh, black dehyde, chaps body and vamps and whatnot. so we're, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna do this, like we'll, we keep on losing money with dying but uh, we, we're getting it back fast enough, so um, yeah I'm gonna talk to you once I achieve something more, and there is 70 range. Okay, I'm getting picked here by level 78, and I'm just run. Uh, sorry, I'm watching Booty at the same time. He was 78, he was cold, and somebody had just attacked him, I think. So what I'll do, I won't run to bank, I will just quickly hop worlds. So that was pretty scary, but luckily I was playing with the sound on, so yeah, I could react fast enough. So yeah, I, I seriously recommend you to always have sound on and it can save your life like it just did, so... Did I hope? Yeah, I did, okay. So yeah, right now I'm just gonna continue to kill some green dragons. I think I completed the Slayer task. So basically I was playing in school, to be fair, and I got all those prayer levels and whatnot, and some Slayer levels, and some defense levels, because I'm training defense as well, um, while I was in school basically, so... This is pretty awesome, and um, I think I need to get another Slayer assignment. So, our Slayer is actually not that bad, like 43 from like two Slayer tasks. Not bad. 
Okay, so here I'm just selling Green Dragon Heights for 57k, and I think I will be buying Rune Kai Shield now with that money. And uh, I like it how we are progressed right now. We came back pretty nicely, and we'll get another Slayer assignment as well, if I'm correct. So um, let me quickly buy Rune Kai Shield, and then we'll get ourselves a third Slayer task. I just bought myself a Rune Kai Shield for around 67k, so right now I do think we look pretty decent. Uh, we mine it some more Bone Bolts. I'm having this just in case if someone PKs me, I should switch those with the Rune ones, but oh well. And um, other than that, I want some Nature Runes to just be able to cast Bind, even though my magic level is really, really low, which is not that good, but um. Oh well, we might just get ourselves a Slayer task and then see what do we get and um, yeah. I'm gonna talk to you once uh, we get another Slayer task. What do we have here? Uh, is this a schooled person? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, let's let's do this. Before biggest mistake ever? I think I'll be... maybe long range? I think I have enough energy to chase him down, to be fair. Oh, that was a mistake, buddy. I hope he has something decent on him. So there's a KO right there. While we were going for the assignment, okay, let's quickly see. He has some coins in there, uh, so let's check how many of those, 13k. That was like not even 1k. So what else does he have here? It's really hard to see actually if it's like that. So he has some runes, let's take that. And um, well, do I need that? I don't even know. I can take down, cut, tinderbox, blah blah, feather, how many? 6k feather, okay, I, uh, I'll take that. And uh, I don't really need other things. I didn't get a bank key, I think. Yeah, uh, neither, not even blood, blood money or anything, so I guess feather can be quite I mean this can be quite some money so that's nice so um, let's quickly throw that in the bank and get ourselves a slayer assignment okay so right now we're still doing the Veneca one and uh, once we reach 70 combat uh, which should be fairly soon we will complete the I think it's lost city quest and then get our, our assignments from Chaladar or whatever he's called so let's quickly see what uh, Veneca has for us so, cave crawlers, um, okay, fine. Uh, wait, cave crawler... I have no clue where that is, to be fair, I'm dumb. There we go, we achieved 62 hit points on our Slayer assignment right over here, as well as 65 combat, which is pretty awesome, and our defense is gonna get up probably in another shot or whatever so um well a few shots I guess so um yeah there is 46 defense already and uh, I guess it's going pretty well here and um yeah <laughs> I, I'm not, I, I don't have much to say oh there is nature runes I didn't even know they dropped that that's pretty good and um yeah I'm gonna talk to you once I achieve something new okay so we achieved 44 flare and um, well that gives us nothing new for now so uh, we still have 42 to kill so uh, I'm gonna go and uh, complete that and uh, yeah I'm, well, uh, we're gonna talk about it later so yeah be right back okay so I do think that on our next hit we should get a defense level so there is 47 defense pretty nice and also no I thought that we did, did get a combat as well but we're still 65 combat right there and um, I don't know if anyone buys Unicorn Horn Dust. I, I don't think that anyone even needs that, but yeah, whatever. So, yeah, um, I don't know, we'll talk on another level, I guess. So I should be getting a range level fairly soon. There is 71 range accomplished, which is pretty nice, but I, I'm gonna continue to train defense as well, because it's just gonna get me combat higher faster than if I only train range. And I like to get as high combat as possible, of course, it's deadman mode, and I want to have as high defense as possible as well, so... Uh, we do still have 27 cave crawlers to kill, uh, they do go pretty slowly, they're a boring task, like... 
I don't know, the good thing they drop is nature runes, some are Renar, Nars, but uh, other than that, it's a pretty boring task, I wanna, I want a harder one. So right now I wanna get 70 combat, then complete the lost city quest, and then uh, get uh, tasks from Chalandar, or whatever that dude is. Um, so uh, yeah, I will talk to you once I accomplish another level, or I complete a task. So we should be getting defense level right over here, pretty fast. There we go, 48 defense achieved. Which is pretty nicely, pretty nice, and I still have five more crawlers to kill, so I will talk to you really soon. Okay, so this is the last kill we need to do, and um, yeah, I, I got poisoned and it sucks, but uh, yeah. So um, yeah, w when we finish this, so I should go to bank, get some more food, and then take another Slayer assignment. So there we go, a third task has been completed. I don't know when you actually start to get points because I kind of forgot how that works but yeah we are now done with this slayer task we are teleporting to Lambridge we are 66 combat and we are closing up on that 50 defense that we wanted and um, it's going pretty nicely so far so um, I guess did I actually teleport to Vara? Okay, I didn't even know I did, but uh, anyways, so I think this will complete our episode right over here. I had tons of fun doing it, uh, it took me quite some time as well, so I really appreciate it if you sticked to the end, and if you did, make sure to drop a comment, like and subscribe, since this definitely helps my channel grow and whatnot, so um, yeah, that was it from me, and uh, it's time to do my emote, and pew pew pew! I'm out. Bye.